All right. So to use the Vienna translation for cage open, you can follow the instructions that are given here in the blog for the translation. So they give a link where you can go and you can download it from Mega or Google Drive. And once it's done downloading, you would have to update it. Okay. So that would mean that in the folder, like once you unzipped, unzip the files, you will get something like this and you will have to up click this and let VNR update. And uh, there's another method which I actually followed. So I think both will work, but just letting you know what worked for me. So I went to vnr.anyclan.com and I created an account there and logged in. Uh, once I do this, there's this link here. I will actually share it because I don't think you need to be logged in to download it from this link. So from this link, you can download the uh, la latest version of VNR and uh, you can directly run it. So I didn't actually click this update button. I just started right from here. Okay. So once you have this situation where you are ready to start VNR, so get started. Make sure to run it as administrator. Otherwise, sometimes it gives me strange errors. And for low-end computers like mine, this is a Core i3. So it might take a while for Vienna to start up. Okay, so when it turns on, you can see that there's no error here. To make sure there is no error, we have to do a couple of things. For example, the first time I started um, VNR, I got some errors because my internet was, internet preferences said that I was disconnected from the internet. So as a result, I could not download the subtitles. I could not get the translation. So you have to make sure that this says here under internet, it says automatically detect internet status. Okay. And additionally, uh, there are a few more things that I think you should uh, make sure, for example, the font, if you want to see the Japanese font along with the translation, you should make sure that you have a proper Japanese font. For example, I have MSUE Gothic selected and you can also change what type of English, uh, what type of font you want as for your English text. So I picked something that looked good to me. You, you can pick whatever you want. And if you're using the VNR to launch your game, you would want to give it the local emulator location. Okay, so you'd have to install the local emulator. Uh, you can grab it from this link. If you want, you can also start the game first using local emulator. Like you can do it yourself once you have this installed and then make VNR latch onto the game. So we'll, we'll check out how that it's possible. In the account section, this doesn't really matter whether you are a guest or someone logged in. This would only matter if you wanted to add subtitles. So we don't want that. We just basically want to see the subtitles. And in the dictionaries area, I can see it has detected some dictionaries that I, had, I have installed, but these I don't think they are important. The one that is important is the internet and the correct font. Okay, so as long as you have this two okay, um, there should not be a problem. All right, now let's start the game. So you can see I actually already have the game added to my VNR, but let's say you don't and you want to add it. Okay, so click here. Next, it says select the window of the running game. So if you have the game already on, you will select this. Or if you want to run the game using VNR, then you will have to select the game executable, fi uh, ex executable file. This sometimes give me errors, not exactly. It just makes my VNR slow down. So I'm just going to pick the first option. So let me first go and turn start the game so i have come to the cage open folder 
and I'm starting the cage open exe. I right clicked it and I'm going to start it up with local emulator because uh, my computer in general is not in Japanese local. So I have to run in Japanese. So let's start. Run in Japanese. The proof that the game is working properly is the fact that you have some Japanese text here. If it did not properly launch in Japanese local, you would get some random uh, garbage characters here. And if you want to quit, you would get some garbage character here as well. But as you can see, this is not garbage character. This is proper Japanese character. So this is correct. So let us for now uh, turn down the music a little bit so that we can focus on our game. So let's first load up a game where I have text. So let's say this one. Haikono. So now we, we are going to select the window of this game. Start. Click. It says found. Sometimes if you don't start VNR with uh, administrator mode, then you'll find that it cannot detect the game properly. So make sure you don't do that. Next, you can see it has found everything. Next, it says successfully synchronized with the game. Next, commit. It might give you some uh, list of threads. The first time I did it, I actually got this list of threads and uh, Back then I was not connected to the internet, so I had to manually select this, select this text out it. So maybe this time I don't have to because I'm connected to the internet, so it knows which one is the correct thread. Commit. Finish. So you can see it's loading some stuff. You can see it says found uh, 37,729 comments. So all of the these are lines in the game, I suppose. So let's go to the menu here. You can check in the text settings that if you are really getting text and you can see, yes, you are really getting text. This text that we have here, Kirena Hitoda Hintai Dakado, it is here. So it's working. Then click the option and select what exactly you want to see. I suggest you turn off the machine translation uh, and random other things. If you want, you can keep the text to clipboard. If you want to also run something like translation aggregator or something to look up the kanji, but I don't think you need to if you already have the trans subtitle. So you can see the community subtitles are selected. So you should be getting some text here. Mm, yes, you can see that this text is showing up. Yeah, I can read the Japanese so I can attest that this translation is correct. So you can see that the first line is the Japanese text. The second line is the uh, subtitle that we had. If I go here and I turn off the game text, it will disappear. And if I turn off the sub community subtitle, the English will disappear. Okay. And as you keep progressing, it says that cannot load at last, but it does not matter. It's basically saying that it cannot show you the machine translation. So make sure you have the machine translation off. Otherwise, it might over uh, overlap with your uh, community subtitle. Just to just to check, let's do that, and you'll see that things are getting a little messed up. You can see that there are two translations now, and the second one is pretty bad. So that one is the machine translation. So don't do that. Remove it. Only look at the translation that the, is provided by the translators. Okay. So 
this is how it works even if you keep progressing in the game this should keep appearing so with that you can see that uh, vnr works pretty well the only issue with this translation for cage open is that for the joke ending of kujo let's carnival uh, you don't really have any text okay so if you don't find any text here don't be surprised it's not done yet i believe so at, at least at the time of me making this video so it's not a problem everywhere else even if you load different um saves everything st still should show up you can see that all of these options they are showing up so it should not break or give you any issues just because you changed your uh, save game or anything it's more or less stable one thing to take note of just in case you are not fortunate enough to have this text showing up okay what you should do is you should go to the menu and click this update danmaku and update subtitles or you could also go go to the subtitle editor you can see all this stuff the subtitle they are all here you just have to click update here in case they, these are not here okay if you see that these are not showing up you should click update and it should fetch the uh, 37000 something something uh, text that are all here okay so that was all about the troubleshooting steps that i can think of so hopefully you will be able to play cage open without any problems if you have any uh, issues make sure to mention it in the comments and i'll see if uh, i can find out your problem it's possible that sometimes things will simply not work because the last time i tried to work make my computer work with vnr i installed it some, from some other source and it simply did not work no matter how I, hard i tried so uh, let's hope you are fortunate enough to make it work